Are you sitting in front of a big fear and because of that you are not able to make a move and you feel pretty stuck? Or are you experiencing a very strong emotional fear right now or maybe on and off that keeps coming up and because of that you are not able to feel relaxed or it's creating some symptoms even in your body and or it's creating some other challenges in your life. If that's you, this video is for you. I will show you today here why this is happening, what is actually going on when a fear is so big and what you can do about that. Hey, if you're new to my channel, I am Carolina Cummins. I'm an energy healer, a spiritual guide and a self-love mentor. And I'm here to help you to live your life from love instead of fear. So today we're talking about fear, emotional fear that you might be experiencing um, on a regular basic basis because it's actually a pattern. It's a unconscious deep down pattern from the childhood and you keep on experiencing it for the reason to release it. This is always the reason. Yeah? When we are having strong fear, it keeps on coming up to show you, hey, there is something that you've not looked at. There's something you're holding on to. There's something you're believing that is in fact not true. And therefore, the fear has to come up to show itself to you so that you can and will resolve it. That's the reason for why fear keeps on coming back. Emotional fear keeps on coming back. So I've just worked with a client actually um, a few days ago and she had exactly this one fear of dying. She had a fear of um, experiencing strong pain in the body and then dying. And her, her fear was always coming up when she had a symptom, a body symptom, you know, something hurting in her body in another place yet again. And she doesn't know why that happens. Yeah. And, and then the fear comes in because a symptom has um, showed up and then the fear comes in and says, Oh my God, I'm not going to survive. And, and there's so the, the symptom has a meaning and the meaning is I'm not going to survive. So that was the pattern. And she kind of believed in that fear. And, you know, the fear comes up, says to her, you're not going to survive. The symptom gets better, a bigger, the fear gets bigger and it's a vicious cycle. And it goes on and on. It ha happens again and again and again and again. And it was so tiring for her body. And, you know, more and more symptoms come up that seem so real and actually dangerous and part of her actually believes that yeah there's something definitely big wrong with me I've got to go to the doctor all the time so that's how strong a fear can be when it is unresolved and so what is actually happening here is that we are identified with the fear we believe the fear is real it's something I have to listen to. And if I don't listen to it, I'm going to die or something really bad is going to happen to me. Okay. So this was the case for my client. So to change that, and this is exactly what she did. And she'd never done that before. So before doing that, she would have that vicious cycle and, you know, always creating more symptoms in her body, more pain in her body and more fear in her body. And there was so much fear. She was kind of always... Uh, or a lot of the time she was in fear and therefore in fight and flight and which is of course very draining for the nervous system and for the body and now one when I, we were talking together um, I was guiding her to actually allow the fear to be there to instead of oh my god I've got to do something quick yeah instead of doing that and the mind is going no, 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 it's going berserk up here the brain is trying to protect her and save her that's the natural mechanism that happens in the brain to save us. But we need to, as conscious beings, we need to assess, is this actually a dangerous situation I am in right now? And most of the time it isn't. The fear comes from the past. It comes up only to be shown to you to be resolved. So 
in order to resolve the fear, we are, first of all, we need to be present to it. We need to say, ah, hey, you're telling me there's danger here. Okay. It might be very powerful, right? This fear could be so big. It's like um, manipulating you big time and it's overpowering you. And it feels like it's much, much bigger than you are because you have never allowed to take back your power you let it do its thing so it has become that big because you haven't stopped it because you believed in it so now to change that is to stop first of all to stop believing in it you just observe like you observe a movie screen this is hard to, to start with maybe but this is what you need to do in order to take your power back in order to not live from the fear and start living from your own love and peace and joy. So you need to be present, observe it. Ah, my fear is telling me I'm going to die. My fear is telling me I've got to go to the doctor right now or I'm going to die, even if it's two o'clock in the morning. Or my fear is telling me I have to immediately um, stop doing a certain thing, maybe eating a certain thing. Whatever it tells you, it's going to be pretty Ill illogical even and not rational it's over the top it's like really over the top but you don't even notice that in that state because it's so real but if you were to write it out maybe this is the first step you could do if it's very very strong fear to write out the thoughts that you're having and in that moment maybe just breathe if you can't do anything else breathe <sighs> So you breathe in more light and oxygen and you breathe out fear. That's the intention. Yeah, if You can do that. And then become present of what's going on. The fear is telling you something that isn't true. It's from the past. It's not from right now. So the first step is to observe and to tell yourself that's okay. That's okay. The fear says I'm going to die if I don't do something. And this is radical. And if you say that's okay something will shift and this is what my client has just told me that something really strange happened that her brain is accepting that it's okay to die because if we as the conscious creator say it's okay to die or it's okay to uh, lose your job because of this fear yeah? or it's okay to fall out with your partner or even uh, lose the relationship with your partner if you make it okay, instead of fighting it, then the brain will listen to that and say, oh, it's okay for you. Okay, then I will back off and I'll let you do your life the way you choose to. This is what will happen. And this is what my client told me. She's never done this before. And it feels really strange to her to not have her brain come in. Ah, oh, quickly do something, quickly, quickly, you know. And instead it's a, okay, fine. We're not doing anything. You see, this is how strong your presence is. And so, and this is how you actually dismantle a very strong fear. Because ultimately it's okay whatever happens, because then you hand over your life to your soul or to the divine plan, to, to the bigger picture, to the, to the life force energy. And, and you're not having to run your life by yourself. You don't have to fight it anymore in order to su survive because that's what happened before. The ego mind tried to do something on its own accord, which is always fighting. It's always doing something, you know, basically on the outside, going to the doctors, checking this out, doing that, call, calling your partner, hey, please come back to me. You know, it's doing all that stuff in order to not die. And what really needs to happen is it actually needs to die because it's ha it has been running your life because the ego is always fear-based. And as long as the ego is running your life, coming from fear all the time, you cannot live from love, peace or joy. Can you see? So this one radical vital step to just say, okay, it's okay if I'm gonna die. Because this experience was actually coming from a past life that my client had. And it is so old, you know, and it kept on repeating in her family history even. And because nobody's ever stopped it, nobody's ever actually looked at, at the truth that I'm actually okay right now, the fear is coming from the past. 
and yes so she just confirmed that that did the trick you know that she actually feels calm and the strange thing is that her brain is not telling her um you know to fight and to do something quick to stop her from dying because she isn't dying she's not in danger yeah okay let me know if this helped you give me please give me a like so other people can see this video you know this is how it gets um sent out there right and if you like to hear more about how to live your life from love please subscribe and i also love to hear your questions if you've got any challenges going on in your life please let me know and i will make a video about that thank you very much and until next time have a beautiful time